Good morning friends I hope everyone is doing well I request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding In the last video I have discussed about what is a framing what is the need for a frame and how the frames can be of fixed size frame okay the frames can be fixed size frames and then variable length or variable size frames okay we have discussed it and then we have discussed the drawbacks of the fixed size frame also then we have discussed that the variable size frames of two types one is that based on the length field we can make a variable size frames or the by using the n delimiter the n delimiter we have discussed about the drawbacks of the length field meaning is that if length field is corrupted then we could not able to identify the end of the frame correctly so we even discussed that the length field concept is used in ethernet and n delimiter concept is used in the token ring now n delimiter again classified into two types one is the character stuffing concept and another one is the bit stuffing i have discussed about the fixed size length and character stuffing okay in this video i want to discuss about the concept called bit stuffing okay how we can have the n delimiter with the help of the bits and if the data and the n delimiter pattern is almost same means if the data consists of the n delimiter pattern then we have to do the bit stuffing otherwise the receiver will think that the data itself is the n delimiter then we could not able to identify the end of the frame correctly are you able to understand so then we will discuss about the bit stuffing concept this concept is very important for the students who are preparing for the university exams and also various competitive exams such as ugc net public sector exams and also for the gate exam so i request everyone to watch the complete video for a better understanding okay now let me discuss about bit stuffing okay so this bit stuffing concept why it came is that as you already know that we have the start frame limiter and we have the data and we have the n delimiter so the start frame delimiter and the n delimiter will be useful for you to identify the boundaries of the frame am i right or wrong so now the bit stuffing concept is that as you already know that the start frame delimiter will have the pattern as 10101011 let's take the n delimiter pattern i am considering it as 051 is my n delimiter pattern just for your understanding purpose i am telling now what will happen let's take that if you have a data 10101051 you want to send how many ones i kept four ones so five ones you want to send so actually sender want to send the start frame delimiter this is the pattern of the start frame delimiter and this is his data and this is the n delimiter now sender has done correctly because he want to send the data this one so he attached the start frame delimiter he has attached the n delimiter to identify the boundaries of the frame but when the receiver is receiving he will receive the start frame delimiter okay he will understand that okay this is the starting of the frame after the starting of the frame ends there is a data and after that there will be an n delimiter he will know it so he already know the pattern of the n delimiter is 011111 so 0 followed by 5 once is the pattern of the n delimiter so he will start receiving the data 1 0 1 0 then 0 5 once then he will think that the receiver will think that okay 0 5 once came so this is the n delimiter and this is the data he will think and he will end this frame here but however this is the complete data but what the problem is happening with the receiver 
if the data consists of the pattern of the n delimiter the receiver thinking that this is the n delimiter and he is doing the mistake are you able to understand so what we should do is that we should introduce the bit such a way that we can make the pattern which is not visible as even if the data consists of the n delimiter pattern we will break the pattern such a way that the receiver could not think that this is an n delimiter he should think it as a data are you able to follow it or not now let's take that 1010 is the data and also 011151 is the complete data source want to send it to the receiver okay now if the destination receives this one he will think that this is the data and this is the end delimiter that is what we said now what the source will do is that 1010051s are there it should break this pattern okay receiver will think that this is the end delimiter but i am sending it as a data so what the source has to do it is that it has to add some bits such a way that this pattern can be breaked how this pattern can be breaked if you have 011151s if you add a zero here then also this pattern will be breaked but this pattern will not be breaked you think that this pattern will be breaked how 0 0 you want to send 0 51 so you are saying that i will add a zero here then what will happen again this pattern this one will come it as a pattern am i right or wrong zero you have added so it will consider this as a data this is an end delimiter so zero five ones it is coming so let's take that you are adding a zero here then even there is a probability that zero one what you want to send instead of 0 51 you are sending 0 1 0 4 once you are sending okay you are breaking the n delimiter pattern according to this one suppose after this then again one comes again it will be the pattern of n delimiter am i right or wrong so the best way is that 0 51 are there in the data better you add a zero here then the probability of again four ones coming is less are you able to understand it or not means what i want to say is that if you add a zero also the pattern will be break if you add a zero here also the pattern will be break if you add a zero here the pattern will break but the best thing is that if you add a zero at the end the pattern will break and the possibility or the probability of next four ones will reduce are you able to understand so if you want to send 10 10051s the sender will send it as 10101041s then a zero will be added and one it will be sent so this is the information sender is sending to the receiver then how the receiver will receive it it has the start frame delimiter it has the end delimiter i will accept it now when it comes to the data it will receive it as 1010 Zero four ones. Then it will think that it will consider that okay zero four ones is there. After one, if it is there, then I will think that it is an end delimiter. So to avoid the confusion, the sender would have added this zero and it will neglect this zero and it will consider the next bit which is there. So it will receive this as a data. So what I want to say is that source is adding this extra zero. to avoid this end delimiter pattern and receiver will understand that it will receive this as 05 ones and it will neglect this zero now you may have a one question in your mind am i right or wrong what is your question may be sir if the source want to send this as a data let's take it 100041101 this is the information source want to send to the destination let's take that if it is sending like this what the receiver will understand 100041s okay zero was there because to avoid the pattern so it will neglect this zero and it will consider the next bit but what the sender want to send this is the actual information he want to send because it is avoided the already the n pattern delimiter n delimiter 
pattern so it did not add anything and it has sent like that but whatever the receiver will think that okay this zero it was added as a bit extra bit so i should neglect it and one i should consider then receiver is doing a mistake here are you able to understand so what the sender has to send if it want to send 04101 then what it should do is that please remember one thing okay 10 let me write with a black pen so that it will be visible for you so the source if it want to send 1004101 then what it will do is that 0 Four ones after four ones, whether it is a one or whether it is a zero, it will add a zero, and then whatever it is coming, it will send because your n delimiter pattern is zero five ones according to our example. So zero four ones comes after that, whether it is a zero or one, it will add another zero and send the remaining information. Now what the receiver will do? receiver will do 10041 okay to avoid the breakage to or to avoid the n delimiter pattern it added a zero so this zero it will neglect and remaining information it will receive so this is the receiver will receive and this is the same information as sender has sent so whatever sender has sent receiver also recognized it properly and it has received correctly so what i want to say is that if your n delimiter pattern is 0451 if the sender want to send in the data as 04101 once this 041 comes then after that whatever it is there it will add a zero means it is adding it is doing a bit stuffing called zero and sending the remaining information so let me discuss another example for your understanding okay let's take that my n delimiter is 031 okay if the data consists of 100311 then what the sender will send what the sender will send the sender will add a zero here to avoid the n delimiter pattern so 100311101 it will send it as to the receiver and receiver will neglect this zero and he will receive it as 10031 it will receive are you able to understand similarly if this n delimiter pattern is this one only okay let me write this is the n delimiter pattern if source want to send 100101 then what the source will actually will send 10011 because after double one whatever it comes it will add another zero and then it will send the remaining information then destination will receive it as 100011 after 011 whatever the zero comes it will neglect it and it will receive the remaining information so this concept we will call it as a bit stuffing why we are calling it as a bit stuffing we are adding a one bit in the information so adding a one bit in the information is easy as adding a single character i hope you have understood the bit stuffing concept if you still have any doubts feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours thank you for watching my video have a nice day